St. Charles is implementing a point system for businesses to follow after violence, large crowds and nightclubs have erupted on Main Street. Fox News Zara Barker joins us now from St. Charles with how this point system could impact businesses, Zara. Yeah, now this point system was in place, but it was relaxed because of the coronavirus pandemic. Now the mayor says because of recent violence down here on Main Street, he's going to be implementing that point system right away. The first weekend after St. Charles Mayor announced it would enforce an existing zoning law and not allow nightclubs, all in an effort to curb recent violence, the weekend ended with three injured officers. The mayor says Saturday night only about 80% followed the rule. The other 20% needs to come into compliance, and we will take whatever action is necessary to make that happen. As I've said before, St. Charles will be safe. The city put its point system back in place to control the late night behavior after they waived the system because of COVID. The mayor assigned points to 25 violations. For example, 3.5 points for each establishment's violation of controlled substances, weapons, and gambling, just to name a few. If an establishment gets six points in a year, they could be reprimanded and have their license revoked. When I reviewed all the citations that the police department issued, almost 99% of them were between 1130 or 12 at night and 2 o'clock in the morning. So that's the, that's the behavior that we had to move on, and that behavior is a result of the nightclubs letting people out at that time of the night. That's when the confrontations and things like that take place. Saturday night, St. Charles City Police called an extra help from St. Charles County and St. Peter's during the first weekend of the no nightclub rule. We had several thousand cars that came in to South Main almost instantaneously. They had left an event in St. Louis City, had came straight out here. Authorities dealt with two confrontations that sent one officer to the hospital and injured two other officers. As soon as the fights broke out, our officers do our best to try to stop them. Um, they tried to get in and stop them. I have two officers that suffered injuries to their hands. They were minor. They are able to come back to work this week. We have another officer that's still being evaluated. And that officer that's being evaluated has not yet returned to duty. Of course, we'll keep you updated on that. Now, up on our website, fox2now.com, we have a full list of those 25 violations along with those points that are assigned to each of those violations. Live tonight from Main Street, St. Charles, Zara Barker, Fox 2 News.